hey guys welcome back to the channel if you guys are new i want to say hello welcome i am nisha and i hope you guys enjoy today's content so today you guys i am doing another birthday slay type of style of video so i hope you guys are here for it it's a beautiful glitter line with a neutral look but before i let y'all go into this look can we get into this beautiful palette by Fearless Belle? This is the 27K palette. And you guys, I was so caught off guard with this palette because the eyeshadows in here appear to be soft and like natural in a sense when you first look at it. But from the eyeshadows that I did try, every shade is deeper than what it appears to be. The quality is absolutely amazing. So I am very, very pleased with this palette. I am using a couple more of the products from Fearless Belle as well and a mixture of other of my favorite products. So I hope you guys are going to enjoy today's content, today, today's makeup slay, birthday slay, hey, hey. So if you guys want to see the get ready with me style of video, then of course, keep on watching. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna get started with the wig, of course, and if you guys have been watching the past couple of videos, you guys know the steps. I take it out the package, I put it on the head, glue her, and lay her down with the scarf. Um, but funny note, y'all gonna find out about this wig towards the end. I'm not gonna spoil it now, but yeah, we'll we'll get into the details about that towards the end. <laughs> but I did a booby. Okay, so of course starting off with my Juvia Eye Prep Eye Prime shade number two. I'm gonna put this all over the lid. This is going to be my base slash primer to make sure any eyeshadow that I do put on is going to be on and cracking. Alright, so I'm starting off with this Fearless Bell palette. This is the 27K palette. I really love this palette. It was an amazing palette, you guys. The colors did appear to be soft when I first looked at them, but as I went along with this tutorial, I found out that that was just proven incorrect. <laughs> the eyeshadows are more vibrant, they're more pigmented, they're just creamy. The formula is absolutely amazing. So this was like the first color I noticed. I was like, wait, this is different. Because uh, when I looked at this color in particular, it looked a lot lighter. But y'all, this brown was deep. It was so deep, it almost appeared semi like black in a sense. So I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but I'm just gonna pat this on all over the crease. All right, and then once I have that on, I'm gonna take this color and this is going to make the edges of that dark brown a little bit more softer. So I'm making sure that I blend these two colors together so that way it has more of a blended type of crease look. So I decided to go in with the same color that I did go in with my brow bone with. I decided to go on my lid. So I'm just going to pat this on all over the lid. And this was another trickery color. I thought it was going to be a little bit more lighter like it appeared in my crease. But of course it's a little bit more deeper now that it's on my lid. So I wasn't going for a neutral look for today. But that's how it went <laughs> so I was like look we're gonna go with it we're gonna play it off like this was all planned and it wasn't so I was like just let's go with it. let's go with it okay so I'm going back in with the brown making sure that I have these two colors blended out correctly no harsh line and this is where the fun of the look is about to start so I started off by doing a black liner and as I was doing it I was like wait this looks so basic this doesn't look like a birthday celebration look I was like what are you doing so I decided after I did the wing, I was like, let's do something that you've never done before. And I decided to go in with these two glitters and I decided to make my own 
glitter liner <laughs> so I'm going in with these and of course I have my own glitter liners but I wanted to be more like a 3d type of glitter so I decided to do a mixture like this so I'm taking my freaking lash glue it's not lash glue sorry it's glitter glue taking that I'm going a little at a time and I'm applying that right on top of that black liner and I'm making sure that I'm trying my best to cover up that black liner and then for the small places where I was not able to reach because I was kind of scared of the glitter getting in my eye I decided to go around the edges with this actual glitter liner um, and what is the difference between this and the actual glitter chunks that I did use? Like I said, I feel like the glitter, like loose glitters by itself, made it a lot more 3D, a lot more glittery, a lot more vibrant. And I was here for this, okay? And these are my first time, well no they're not, this is not my first time, but these are some lashes by Fearless Bill as well. And these are called Summer, these are absolutely beautiful. So now we're gonna move on to the face, starting off with a moisturizer, and then we're gonna move along and go in with the primer. And y'all can excuse the phone being inside my bra. I was on the phone, um, and <laughs> yeah, that that just sums it up. So let me know if anybody else like do this. Like I feel like I do this all the time. If I'm in the store and I don't feel like holding it, I don't do earpieces. So that's what I do. I put the phone in my bra and put it on speaker. There we go. And now I'm going in with my BB cream by Poreless. If you guys want to try them out, I will have a 30% off coupon code in the description box if you guys want to check them out. And of course, the link if you guys want to check any of their products out. Now for foundation, going in with my Studio Finish Foundation, y'all. This foundation has been with me forever. I haven't used this in forever. So it felt good to go back to like my old school favorite foundation. Just to see, you know, after trying so many different foundations to see if this was still gonna do what it's supposed to do. And y'all, it did. It's still a good foundation. The coverage, the color, the formula, it's, oh, it's beautiful. If you have oily skin or you sweat a lot, this is a good summertime foundation because She's like semi waterproof in a sense. Anywho, going on, I'm about to take my concealer. <laughs> Taking my concealer and putting this underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, around my mouth, cheeks, and everything you pretty much can see, okay? So I'm gonna blend that out and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so now set the concealer areas. I'm going in with a lighter shade of a setting powder which is my beauty bakery setting powder you guys know i absolutely love it and this is located at Target. um this is exclusively only at Target and Target online okay and now for the rest of my face i'm going in with my black radiance mineral loose setting powder which is more close to my skin complexion so now i'm going to put this all over my face just to make sure that my foundation is completely set and AKA giving myself that airbrush look. All right, going in with Beauty Bakery. This is the perfect blend and bronzer. I wanna go in with this to contour my cheeks and I do go down the bridge of my nose as well with this product. So I decided to go in with a little bit of Juvia's um, Eye Prep Eye Prime and I put that on my lower lash line before I finished this look out. I felt like I needed a little bit of color somewhat in this look. So I'm taking this beautiful like plummy, vibrant purple. It's so beautiful. So I decided to go with this because purple go good with any and everything. Even if I don't got purple on, purple is that, that color. Like it can kind of like disguise as a neutral eyeshadow, you know? So once I had that on, I decided to pop some inner teared up bling. Y'all know how I do and y'all, I have to say, I had to come back and do more looks with this palette. I'm very surprised and like happy with it. Like the metallic eyeshadows are very vibrant and just, sparkly <laughs> so i'm gonna go in with a little bit of black liner just to give my lower lash line that smoky effect and then i decided my lid and my like my cut crease bar bra bone sorry bra bone area was looking too similar so 
so I felt like I needed a separation of a difference so I decided to go in with this bronzy color and highlight my brow bone with this I haven't done this in forever I used to do this all the time and when I did it you guys it brought back so many like oohs and ah memories I was like damn this look good okay <laughs> now moving on to my lips I'm taking my live glam lipstick and y'all Y'all gonna see new lips on birthday site, okay? That's what I roll with. But I have to say, this one right here is definitely a favorite of mine. It's beautiful. It is so nudie. Like, that's the name of it. It's nudie tea. And it's living up its name, okay? Going in with my lip liner by ColourPop. Going to line my lips. Just give my lips some structure so it won't look all bland. And then I'm going to go in with this beautiful, and I do mean beautiful, Fearless Bill gloss. But I was kind of thrown off. I thought it was going to be like a real, like, actual gloss. And it wasn't. <laughs> it's very pigmented. I could have honestly wore this, like, by itself without the lipstick underneath it. But I made it work. So I'm going to just put this in the center part only. So my lips are like really like Casper the Ghost, like nude. <laughs> so I need to add a little bit of gloss just to make everything flow together. And I love this gloss. This is by e.l.f. So it's giving my lips more of some plumping action going on. So it makes it look more vibrant and just, just beautiful. All right, now going in with my all-time favorite new product now. This is like my favorite new product. This highlight, y'all, look at that. It is the most beautiful, and I, I mean, I, it's the beautiful highlight, damn it. It's beautiful. Like, it's just the creaminess, the texture, the color, how it just blends into my complexion. It's just, y'all gonna see this probably all for the rest of the looks, because I was very happy and pleased with this highlighter. Like, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at my nose. Look at that. Yes, girl. Yes. So now I'm going in with the blush that is next to that highlighter. I am now going to take that and apply this to my cheek. And although it appears like very vibrant and stuff in the pan, but once I put it on, it's a nice soft pink blush. So don't be scared when you see it or like, you know, want to buy it or whatever. Like, oh my gosh, this pink is too vibrant. No, it does appear very soft and appealing onto the face. So once I apply my blush and I do go over the board with my blush, I'm going to now set my face with my setting spray. And this is by Marvin Beauty, which is AKA Fashion Nova. I'm going to now set my face with this. All right, so here's the trickery. So. I didn't notice right away until I started combing this out. I was like, damn, this wig is like really like tangled and matter and I couldn't figure out what happened. So long story short, y'all about to see it. I have about three different package of this wig. So there's like a beginner, there's like a, this one right here that I have on my head. I've had this since last year, October and I have worn her out. She, she, she needs to be thrown away, but I, I just haven't put her up. <laughs> I haven't put her to bed, okay? And I realized, I was like, wait, this is looking, you know, very poofy. And then I realized right here, I was like, okay, let me go take that off because I know this ain't it. And what, what gave it away is that I cut the first one. So this one that I have on my head now is actually my second order. And I did put in a third order on this hair unit because this one also got tangled because I fell asleep in it and... I, it got all sweated and just matter up but after putting a little bit of some hair mousse in water I did bring it back to life and I cannot wait till I get my order on this replacement okay so if you guys do get this unit I will say highly take care of her she can last for a really good long time but she does get matter very very quickly but yes this is my outfit I hope you guys like it this is from Fashion Nova this was actually passed down to me from my sister-in-law and I love this. I was like, girl, yes, give me this fit. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed the look. I hope you guys enjoyed the outfit. I wanna thank you guys so much for supporting every single last one of my videos so far. And I can't wait for you guys to continue to come back tomorrow and tomorrow and the next day and the next day to see more of these birthday bankers, honey. 
You guys have a beautiful day. Stay blessed. See y'all tomorrow.